Philadelphia. We? Oui. Yes, we. Oui. And beyond that, you know, if Lewis Construction were to get this job, I could promise you a low bid and top-notch work, satisfaction guaranteed. Always. You know, young lady, I think we have a deal. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, yes. I'm glad I came by. Well, so am I. Claire? Olivia? You know, I just love her attitude. And yours leaves something to be desired. Why don't we step this way for just a minute? How very territorial. What? Steering me away from Joshua. Oh, we're on a first-name basis now, huh? You see, I'm right. River, is this fair? Why begrudge me time with your ex when I've been so generous with mine? Well, for one thing, Josh or his time aren't mine to give away anymore. And for another thing, this isn't about territory. It's about concern over your territory. No, well, yes, if you consider family territory. Actually, there's been a lot of upheaval in this family lately, and I'm trying to keep things calm around here, so that's why I'd like to know why you're here. For a firm date? Excuse me? My appearance on your show. Oh, right, right. Um, actually, we had a cancellation. You could fill that slot. Fabulous. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to it. Now, I'll need a... Wardrobe budget. A limo, of course, on the day of the show. I could use my own hairstylist. I'll have him whoa, send you the whoa, bill. Whoa, 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 wait, tell wait. the camera people I'm not to be short from the left side. And as far as the interview itself goes, I do not answer questions about my age, my whereabouts for the past ten years, or the provenance of any works of art I've sold or may sell. Ah? Uh, yes. What? What? You've got company. Hello, darling. How cozy. All four exes in one room. Yep. Ain't we modern? One big happy family. Except for the fact that none of us are actually related anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes marriage is an honest mistake. Made by two people who belong together. H hadn't you uh, better be going yet? It's, it's, it's getting late. No, it isn't. Oh, yeah, I, I think it's, it's getting late. I would agree with that. It is most definitely getting late. Then I must be on my way. Mustn't I? Oh, I suppose you've heard already about our family down south. All's well that ends well. I'll see myself out. Good night. What was that little cryptic nugget supposed to mean? Uh, that's what I was trying to tell you when I came in here. The deal went down in Central America. It did? Yes, everything is going... Oh, my God! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you! That's great! That's They've so lost great. me entirely. Have they lost you? Oh, yeah, right you know what? The nugget okay. part. Can we tell Can we tell them? Please, please. I mean, it's safe now, right? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Uh, just, uh, just keep this uh, between you two. And, and Shane. I'll, I'll tell Shane later. The deal was a national election. It, it actually, it was the key to the whole story that started with Diego and my promise to find his wife after he died, which also led to my discovering that Noah was a retired secret agent, and I accidentally pulled him back into the business. I'm not the spy stuff again. Oh, honey, but it, it's all true. Let's just sit, okay? Just sit so I can explain this. In my quest to find out information about Diego's life, I started asking questions. Questions that piqued the interest of a certain government intelligence agency. They wanted to stop me from answering these questions. Why? Why? Because that's a good question. Because it turns out that I was getting closer to stumbling on the fact that Diego and about a thousand other illegal immigrants in this country were being smuggled into this country by a syndicate that was being run in Central America by a junta that was in power there. The agency knew all about this and they were going to go public with it before the election was held in that country. But if I had started putting all the pieces together and if I had aired the story, it would have ruined the agency's timing with the election and possibly the whole operation. As it turns out though, the whole operation didn't just involve that Central American country, it also led directly to San Cristobal. 
because it turns out that the smugglers were using San Cristobal as a transshipment port. So I posed as an illegal. I got on the ship. They put me in a cargo container along with Noah, and that's where we met Catalina. I can't believe this. You could have been killed. Yeah, well, things got a little dicey there for a while with the thugs that were running the operation, but we were able to escape. And that's essentially the story. Well, except for the fact that I wasn't able to breathe a word of this to anyone, otherwise the agency would have shut me up permanently. But now that the junta's out of business, we're in the clear. <laughs> Well, that certainly puts a lot of things into perspective. Well, all this time I was thinking Crazy Mom was running around not paying any attention to poor me and you were out there saving the world. Well, I wasn't really saving it. I was just kind of helping it along a little. But I am sorry. I mean, that's that was the mystery trip to San Cristobal. I, I apologize for the secrecy and the... You know what? It's okay. It's all right. It sounds like you were doing a good thing. I have to go. I'll walk you up. Okay. <laughs> Mara, I, I want to tell you something. I'm very proud of the way you're dealing with this situation about Tony. Uh, I guess I'm growing up, huh? Yes, you are. I love you. You. I'll see you.